What's up Transformers fans, I'm Mondo and this is another Moonbase 84 transmission. Around two weeks ago I did a video about what I thought were the 10 most iconic slash influential Optimus Prime toys. I then did a follow up video talking about 5 Prime toys that I felt were underappreciated or overlooked. And in that video I was going to include the Optimus from Transformers Siege. However, I ultimately decided not to for two reasons. The first reason being that because there have been so many Optimus Prime toys, there are quite a few good ones that have been overshadowed by others. For the purpose of the video, I only picked and covered five so the video wouldn't be two hours long. Siege Optimus was one of the first toys that came to mind when I was thinking of underappreciated toys, but because he was more recent than some of the others that made the list, and knowing that I would have to compare him, compare him to Earthrise Prime, I omitted him due to the aforementioned time constraint I put on the video. However, I did want to talk about Siege Optimus and knew that it would have to be its own video, so I scribbled the idea down on my notebook for future videos to revisit the idea later. Then someone happened to comment on the 10 Iconic Primes video that they preferred Siege Prime, so that gave me the urge to get this video out sooner than I planned. Besides making videos and sharing my love of Transformers, I love engaging with you guys who watch the channel. With all that being said, let's revisit the Transformers Siege Voyager class Optimus Prime. Also, before we get into it, if you could like, subscribe, and all that jazz, I'd really appreciate it. With that out of the way, let's hit it, as Braun would say. Or wheelie. <laughs> let's start by talking about Siege Prime's alt mode. Overall, I think it is pretty nice. It ticks off almost all the boxes for a G1 Prime aesthetic. That is, even without being Prime's G1 Earth mode. Even though this is a Cybertronian mode for Prime, it is very close to being an Earthbound truck cab. I always wish that they went for a more alien, I guess you'd say, design for Prime's alt mode for both Siege, the Siege show and the toy. Maybe something in the vein of the War for Cybertron video game. It's so close to being an Earth truck that it might as well be. That by no means hurts the toy in my view, it's just something that I wanted to point out. So while I've been rattling on the intro and talking about the alt mode, obviously you've been looking at the Siege Optimus and Bot mode, and I think this is where the Siege Optimus Prime really shines. And I quickly want to note that my copy is the Amazon exclusive version, but as far as I can tell, the difference between this one and the standard release are minimal. I think maybe the battle damage paint apps are toned down a bit on this version, and that's a good thing, because like many, I think a lot of the Siege line went a little too crazy with the damage paint apps, but that comes down to personal preference. As for the sculpt, Siege Prime has a lot of nice details throughout. His forearms are a bit too much chunk hanging off them to be a proper quote unquote G1 Prime, as you can see here. But again, I'm just pointing that out. I'm not that nitpicky, and to me, a Prime sporting a Cybertron mode shouldn't look exactly as he does on Earth. The G1 designs look the same on both planets in the cartoon simply because they didn't want to create robot mode designs for both planets. You have to remember that the G1 show was an advertisement to sell toys. One could also argue that his backpack is a bit oversized, sticks out quite a bit. But if you're going to hold that against it, then you're not going to be happy with the upcoming Studio Series 86 Optimus. And quickly we'll just get an up close look. And what I was talking about with the nice sculpt, and I love the head sculpt, of course. And there you can see on his arms and legs some of that um, battle damage. But I think it's toned down compared to the standard release, as I said. But yeah, he looks really good. There's a side profile. And then quickly his back with his big backpack. Not very hollow, maybe in the back of the legs a tad. But still not that much. And there's some nice detail in there. For accessories, he has what you'd want for a Prime, that being his Ion Blaster, which he has a rifle, which he has in his hand, and his Battle Axe, which is pretty cool too. As for articulation, he has all the modern articulation and even a butterfly joint due to transformation. Just a back one though, it doesn't really go front. But he has everything else that we've come to expect from a modern figure. So now we've quickly gone over the Siege Optimus Prime toy and established or re-established that it is a great Prime figure, then why would I consider it underappreciated or overlooked? That's because the next Prime toy that came along on the scene stole its thunder. Of course, it's a now legendary Earthrise Optimus Prime. As you can see, I have them squared off against one another, Siege on the left, Earthrise on the right, and we're going to see how Siege stacks up against Earthrise one last time. 
As far as accessories go, Earthrise wins that in my book because I'm a sucker for a Prime that comes with this trailer, however lackluster it may be, because Earthrise is, is not that great. It's nice for Prime to have in truck mode, but its battle med bay modes for Earthrise Prime are definitely lacking. To me, their alt modes are equally as good, with both representing what they are supposed to. Cybertronian G1 aesthetic, um, alt mode, Earth alt mode from the G1 cartoon. In my opinion, robot mode is where Siege is actually better than Earthrise, and the reason for that comes down to proportions. Earthrise Prime's proportion issues really become apparent standing right next to Siege Prime. The Siege toy has good proportions, as noted here, while the Earthrise suffers from a midriff that looks a bit too thin, stumpy arms and legs that appear to be a little too long. Again, these, are it, these issues are glaring when standing right next to the Siege. So you can kind of see what I'm talking about. Siege, his arm is a, a little, is longer than um, the Earthrise. But, and then when you're talking waist, they're almost exactly the same height. Siege is a, maybe a fraction shorter, but you can see the torso difference. The, t the torso on Earthrise is stumpier as well. And it's, it gets really thin in here, making it even stumpier. And then his legs to make up for the height are, a lot longer than Siege, as you can see where the waists are. The waist on Earthrise comes up to like the abs of the Siege. So his proportions are off, comp definitely compared to the Siege. I'm by no means bashing the Earthrise toy just for the sake of bashing it. I think it is a great Optimus Prime toy and probably the best cartoon accurate G1 cartoon Prime that we've gotten besides the Masterpiece Primes. I just can't look at these two side by side and say that the Earthrise looks better than the Siege when it comes to proportions. Besides that, the Earthrise Prime looks good. He's got like the cartoon accurate window, uh, windshield chest and things like that. Great details, but again, the proportions are definitely off. So we gave the Siege Optimus Prime toy a mini re-review, I guess you call it, and determined he's a really good figure. We compared him to Earthrise Prime and determined that he is just as good, if not better, in many aspects, especially if you don't have the Earthrise trailer as a factor. We covered all of that, so the only question that remains would have to be, why did Earthrise Prime go on to be a legend in its own time, while the Siege Prime toy seems to have been pushed off into the corner? To me, the answer is simply nostalgia. Its problems aside, the Earthrise Optimus Prime is a great representation of his likeness in the G1 cartoon. The Siege is a good G1 style Prime, but by nature of it being a Cybertronian Optimus from a modern show in the G1 style, it doesn't quite hit that old school cartoon look. I'll finish by saying that while I think that both figures are great in their own right, I would give this very slight edge to the Siege Prime as to which I think is the overall better figure. To me, it all comes down to the proportions when having them side by side. Either way, I don't think you could go wrong with having one or the other in your collection, or both. It's just unfortunate that this Siege Optimus Prime toy is overshadowed and often underappreciated because of the Earthrise Prime. When the Studio Series 86 Prime rolls out, I'm sure it will be even more forgotten. I'm just thankful that we get such great Optimus Prime toys, so much so that we even have to have these conversations. That'll about do it, and until next time, thanks for docking.